hello everyone this is crafting with Christy and today uh, I am going to show you all the diamond painted diamond Wow oh my goodness all the diamond paintings that I have completed in 2020 um, it's not a lot but then it varies basically because I've done a couple small ones and then a couple big ones and so all right so it, these are in no particular order um because my goodness I, I would be yeah anyways so this first one is of course of Pikachu I got it off I want to say everyday deals or something like that I don't know how much I paid for it and the reason why I have it looks like plastic bag oh okay and I have to replace a couple diamonds um is cuz I had it I guess I had a bag by it and it got stuck to the side. Anyways, um, yeah. I really enjoyed this really much. And, um, my son, well, both of my kids, love Pikachu. So, he's been, you know, nagging me about putting this up in their room. So, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, so, yeah, I love how it turned out. It's a 30 by 30, and it's a snack size painting, and I think it turned out super cute, because you could see the little shock thingies coming out of Pikachu's cheeks, and you can see, I guess, clouds, and the Pokeball, like he's coming out of the Pokeball, but yeah, I really like how that turned out. My next one is from a company, oh my goodness, <laughs> that I don't, I'm pretty sure they're not, like, right after I ordered, um, they closed down, but it was from Sparkle Crafter, it was a 30 by 30 square, I don't think I had very many issues. I think I had a couple places where they had popping, like the black had popping drills, but uh, that could have been my fault. Um, I really enjoyed it, even though it's a 30 by 30. Um, for a 30 by 30, I still think it looked kind of cute, you know, not too big, not too small. But you can still see that it's a uh, music note. So, yeah. My next one that I did. Well, oh my goodness gracious. They're all sticking together. Um, is my paint gem. And... I enjoyed it. But... This is the first and only time I will ever buy from Paint Gym. Just because I am not paying that kind of money for this size of painting. You know, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. This is tiny. It is a 36 by 24. Yes, it. you could tell it's jellyfish. And I'm guessing that's like a... A person in the sea but I just wanted to try out a company and I tried paint gym and for the money I probably won't buy from them again um, so yeah so this one is a nightmare I think when um, I lifted the one painting up, yeah, I'm going to have to replace diamonds because they're popping. 
this I like how it came out but I really wish really really wish it didn't have popping drills just because it would have just I would have loved it a lot more this is a 40 by 30 and it's from pretty neat creative um, I decided to buy two more from pretty neat creative just because I wanted to try out their squares um, I really like this image and I think it was on clearance or whatever but I would have probably loved it a lot more if it did not have popping drills it's a round so yeah we're, that's all I'm going to say about that. My next one is one of my favorites. I need to hang this up. I need to do something with it. Because this is, uh, like, I'm very impressed with the pink raspberry. So, when I got this image, I was a little iffy about the face. I know I knew this wasn't going to turn out. That's okay. I was just worried about the face. I'm in love with this. I love Harley Quinn and for a 30 by 40 I give it a thumbs up. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. Um so yeah. My next one is from Craftably. Um, I bought this to um, try out their company. Um, and what was it? I'm, I'm very picky on what images that I like because if, like, for some odd reason, this canvas stood out to me, and I liked it. Um, I loved the drills. The, the drill field was amazing. I had no problem with it. Um, this is a 30 by 40. And I love how it turned out. Love how it turned out. Even though it's a 30 by 40, I enjoyed it. I really, really did. My next one is a Dreamer Designs. Um, I really like this canvas. Like, I feel like they kind of improved with, like, say, ABs and stuff. The drill field was a little fuzzy, but I could still see it at the beginning when I first started working on this. I had to, like, take a double take on what symbol I was doing because I didn't want to do it, do something wrong. But as I got further, I just, I, I just knew. Um, but I really like how this flower came out. It is called Lily Lagoon. It is a 40 by 50 square. So, yeah. My next one I did, um, I did a, this was, a, this is a birthday present for my mom. And when I was going to go get the frame and go give it to her is when all this crap happened. Um... So, I couldn't do that, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed this painting. This was my first square from Treasure Studios art, and I love how it came out. It's, I, I know if I, I love it, I know my mom's gonna love it, because she loves dolphins, and her favorite color is blue. So, yeah, this is a... 50 by 40, and the name of it is Moonlight Dolphin. So, yeah. And last, 
I just did a post review and y'all will probably either see this first or the post review first. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But this is Watercolor Hummingbird. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I love how it came out. I love how the bird came out. I love how I, I love everything about it. Um, this was my second, um, my second round Treasure Studios art, and I was a little iffy because the last time, um, I did one of their rounds, they had poppin' drills, and that's when Rachel was having issues, or, uh, like, the, the supplier, I guess the rounds were bigger, and so that's what made them pop. Okay, I had to make sure that... Okay, sorry. But I love everything about this. Um, I'll probably put up the post review first. And then put up this video. I'll... It'll go to the Patreons first. And then it will go to the rest of my... Uh, well, it'll go up for everybody else in, I guess, a couple days. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this diamond painting. This was a custom from Treasure Studios Art that I, uh, me and Rachel were talking about. This is for my kids' Mima. She loves hummingbirds, and I know she's gonna love it. So, yeah. So... Okay, y'all, um, so I forgot this canvas. I don't know how I forgot it. It was under a bunch of, uh, well, it was underneath one of my TSA, um, paintings that I got, but I totally forgot to, um, include this one into what all I have, like, the the whole how many diamond paintings I've done in 2020 so here is the last one this is I can't remember the name of it oh no it is time from diamond art club um it is a 52 by 72 it is a round I enjoyed this diamond painting even though it was like bold dark colors I pushed through it I love it I love how it turned out so yeah um, I'm going to have to edit this part in so yeah I am going to shoot you back well uh, end this clip and then you'll see the ending so yes I really enjoyed this diamond art club um, but yeah that's about it so that is all I have for y'all today I am just putting my canvases back so I can excuse me I have to sneeze <sighs> <sighs> sorry about that <sighs> I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm just putting these back up here because I put them in a specific spot. Um, oh. I'll just turn that like that so y'all can see how beautiful my Harley Quinn is. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I greatly appreciate it. Um, also hit that notification bell so you know when I put up a video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I do also have my email if you would like to email me. But, other than that, I will see you on my next video. Bye! Keep on crafting, y'all!